So today we're going to be looking at characterizing an unknown X-band amplifier using some of the test equipment that I have behind me. In this case, we want to know the characteristics of this particular amplifier operating in the X-band region from 9.7 to 9.9 .9 gigahertz. In order to do that, we're going to use this Agilent source to input a continuous wave frequency at different power levels and different frequencies and we're going to use our spectrum analyzer in a couple of different modes in order to be able to record various data points that we can then plot to understand the operational characteristics of the amplifier. In the first case the plot that we want to do is to see what is the gain of the amplifier uh, across various input ranges. To do that, we use the frequency source and we pick a specific frequency. We'll end up running the graph across multiple frequencies, but we'll pick one to start with at 9.8 gigahertz is in the center of our frequency band. And we'll start down at a minimal input power level. First, to check my operation, I have it with a minus 45 dBm input and I can look at my resultant output power on my spectrum analyzer here. There's two different ways that I can use this MXA signal analyzer to gain the desired data. The first method would be to use this regular spectrum analyzer mode. In this case, I'm looking at the entire band from 9.6 to 10 gigahertz with a peak at 9.8 where my current value is. If I change the input power of my system, I can see the resultant change in power on the spectrum analyzer. At very low input powers, however, the spectrum analyzer becomes very difficult to read because it's so far down into the noise. The MXA has a, another measurement option shown as channel power where I can center at the 9.8 gigahertz frequency with the desired bandwidth and it will integrate across that range and if I make that very narrow, I can get a much quieter reading to be able to actually see the signal outside of the noise floor. By starting here at minus 90 and then bringing that value up, I can see the input range of this particular amplifier and plot those data points. Another me measurement system, or another measurement set that we can take with this is to verify the gain of the amplifier across a frequency range. In that situation, we would do a very similar set of measurements, but I will fix the input power and vary the frequency rather than fixing the input frequency and varying the input power. In that case, I use my source. I pick a power level. I'm going to use minus 30 dBm. And I'll go ahead for speed sake because this input power level is high enough and use the spectrum analyzer mode. As I change the frequency, I can then sweep my, across my frequency range and look at the measurement value at each point. Now in this case, as I vary my frequency, I use the peak search method to very quickly find the peak of the signal on my spectrum analyzer and record that data for the various input frequencies. Um, the system does have the capability to uh, log data values or you can simply record them on a spreadsheet and plot the resulting data. In this plot you can see the completed data where we have set the frequency to uh, 9.7, 9.8, and 9.9 .9 gigahertz and vary the input power. You can see the point at which the amplifier rolls off um, around an input of minus 10 dBm. And in this plot, we varied the frequency uh, and at a couple of different power levels to collect enough data. And you can see that the amplifier has a variation of about 2 dB of gain across the entire range of its system. So that's how we were able to use um, a frequency source and a signal analyzer to gain some idea of how this particular unknown piece of equipment operated. This is the type of thing that we do at Duotech Services uh, when we need to characterize an item to know 
how to compare it to other units down the road. For more information on what we do, check us out at duotechservices.com or follow us on Twitter.